Hello everyone and welcome to my latest uh, review. Uh, before I start I just want to say thank you to everyone who's watched all the previous videos, now over a, a thousand, and um, that's really great to see. Well today I'm going to be looking at well, one of my favourite uh, recent releases, it's the Dapol Class 58, this version in Rail Freight Red Stripe livery, running number 58012. Uh, the catalogue number for this is ND103A. They also did another version in Rail Freight Red Stripe, ND103B, uh, which had the running number 58023. It was also released in EWS and in uh, Rail Freight Coal livery in the first batch. They've also begun to release a second batch of these, uh, some of which are available. Uh, there's triple grey coal sector, mainline uh, aircraft blue, a triple grey mainline and a triple grey unbranded. Uh, some of those are available from various different uh, online uh, retailers. But you'll need to hunt around to find the particular one you're after because some seem to have some and not others. Um, as you can see it's a Dapol Platinum release, DCC ready. Just take the uh, sleeve off to start with and take this front cover off. It is as usual in this nice hard protective case with a piece of plastic just to protect the model. That should minimise reflections hopefully. Have a closer look at it in the box. Now there are quite a few features of this uh, model. Uh, it's DCC ready with the DCC 6 pin socket has NEM coupler pockets, profile wheels, um, what they call a super creep motor to, uh, to enable good slow running. You get an accessory pack here, which I'll show you in a second. has directional lighting and what Dapol call a low friction mechanism. Now you get the instructions with it, which show you how to maintain it, how to oil it, how to fit the DCC chip just a single page. As you can see here, here's the, here's the oiling uh, procedure. It's all wheel drive here. And in the detailing pack we have some uh, knuckle couplers which fit into the NEM sockets. Um, some what look like bogey side frames. Um, vac pipes. All sorts of detailing for the front the locomotive, some dummy hook couplers there as well. So let's pop her out of the box and have a bit of a closer look at her. Well fortunately um, this foam insert has little indentations for your fingers so it's quite easy to lift the whole insert out so you can remove the locomotive from it. Uh, in there I've just got the blanking plate because this one has been converted to DCC and pop that out so we can have a look at it. There it is. Obviously I'll try to keep it in focus with this camera. Um, nice weight, nice amount of weight there with that. Livery very nicely applied. There was a problem with this initial batch uh, in the Rail Freight Red Stripe. They got the um, BR logo, the large loco wrong and to give Dapol full credit, they rather than release it, they took them all back and repainted that correctly. So that's uh, very good to see that they reacted to some responses when some pictures were released on the forums that this was wrong and they corrected it. And that's good to see. Um, has good full cab detail interior. It's a little difficult to see in this this amount of light, but I can assure you that's there if you want to. Uh, Put a little driver in or something like that. Um, nice end detail with working lights front and rear. Uh, all the buffer, buffer beam detail in the accessory bag can be added on the front here. And of course you can remove one or both of the couplers. And um, if you're going to always couple at this end, you can take the coupler off this end and super detail it quite easily. Start the roof. Um, that's nice. The, the grills are 
kind of have a little bit of depth because they're etched rather than just a moulded part. There's some nice added on detail at the sides, wire handrails and again some depth to these grills here. You can see in, which is nice to see. Um, fine printing on the cab there. Uh, the bogey side frames are very nicely detailed too. Fine wires down here. It's pretty plain, obviously, on the on the bottom of the of the um, body side, but um, again, nicely detailed uh, sort of raised detail here for the for the grills and um, I suppose their air outlets or for cooling. Nice end detail. Well applied livery. Looking at the underside, it's all wheel pickup and all wheel drive, and it drives really nicely. Okay, that's the first quick look at it. I'm going to put it on some track and get in for some real close shots here because um, I think in some of the previous videos, the camera's been a bit high and you haven't been able to really see close in detail. So, so let's do that. Well there she is on the track and once again this is 2mm easy track, fine scale and code 40 and that gives you a much nicer close up look at her. About 50 of these locomotives were made and they were mostly used for hauling uh, heavy freight in particular coal but they were found on other freight lo um, trains and also even occasionally hauling passenger trains so if you've got a sectorisation or sectorization and slightly later period layout, then they're perfect for that kind of era. Unfortunately it's a slightly overcast day so I don't know how much detail you're seeing of the bogies, but I think you're seeing the, uh, the body sides and, and, the, and the roof and side detail quite nicely there. Let's have a look at the ends. So there's a look at the end of the loco and again you can see how nicely detailed it is it looks lovely coming uh, along the track there with the lights on my rating for this um, it's got to be 9 out of 10 it's a, a top class release from Dapol it looks lovely it runs beautifully which I'll show you in a second you've got some nice accessories if you want to detail it up and a real good choice of liveries available so um, I would highly recommend this I'm going to show some uh, running clips now and um, I took this along to the Model Railway Club Open Day last week and ran it on their test layout. So a nice big uh, circular or oval test track there and I run it under DCC. So you'll see it now running uh, in creep on DCC and then just uh, running around sort of standard speed. Wrong colour, but at least it's moving. Well, I think you can see by those short clips just how well she runs. Thanks for watching this video. 
hope to be back soon with more videos. Please comment, rate and subscribe in the box below or leave me any suggestions or requests for other videos you'd like to see. Until the next time, thanks for watching, take care and see you soon.